Hello. Okay, um, we have an el a new elusive target here. And unfortunately having to do this one on my own at midnight. <laughs> as, as you can see, there isn't too much time left. I've been away all week. And this is the first opportunity I've had. Um, I won't be able to do it tomorrow. Uh, it will expire at about 2 p.m. local time on a Monday. Not really feasible for me to get that done uh, tomorrow, so. So here we are, but it's on a map that I know pretty well, Dartmoor. Uh, it's a bit of a trickier one. Um, by virtue of the fact that it's two, two targets. So once I take out one target, I'm, I'm locked in. Uh, which means that I can't faff around with a, with a restart. Uh, should I should I feel the need to? Um, so yeah, the standard elusive target rules apply. Let's have a look at the mission briefing. Good morning, forty-seven. Your targets are Jack Rowe, A.K.A. Jakob Rowe, the charismatic celebrity chef specializing in new Nordic cuisine, and his partner in crime, Robert Burke, a well-established embalmer. The unlikely duo have been secretly working together in a diabolical scheme that could only come from a gothic novel. They have set up a rather bizarre business where... It's fun to see them just say, in different locations. So at Sapienza, me. there was some Hokkaido before. Our client, That's Paris. <laughs> a celebrity who wants to remain anonymous, has somehow come across the shocking truth of Mr. Rowe's secret ingredient and managed to connect the two together. Embarrassed and disgusted, they have not been able to go to the authorities, as this would most likely lead to further scandal. So, they have turned to us. It's time yeah. to put an end to All this right. ghoulish madness. That's, madness. Um, Good luck, 47. the hallways, and he's a chef, so there's the staff kitchen. Uh, see if there's anything to learn from their, from their profiles. Usually there isn't. Yeah, food. And this guy's an embalmer. Um, so, no real idea where he could be. Imagine upstairs. If not outside, because of uh, the chef guy probably being inside. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start as a guard in the staff room that gets me inside. That's actually in the kitchen, but I've got to be careful because I'm sure there's plenty of enforcers. Then, um, take a lethal syringe just in case I can use that. I'll take a lockpick just in case I need it. And um, I can smuggle into this bathroom. Um, I smuggle something to throw just in case I'm caught without many um, items to throw around. So I'll go with the gold bar. Try and do this silent, but I'll take take control of the situation if uh, it doesn't go too well. Um, I think that's it. I roughly have a game plan. Um, I'm going to take a um, mansion guard disguise with my usual overflow the bathroom trick and then from there I have a bit more um, security a uh, bit, bit, bit of safety net to move around the house um, and let's see if we can see if we can get someone in into a, a compromised situation into a position that yeah helps us take him down so we'll see how it goes we will see Good afternoon, 47. Welcome okay. to Thornbridge Manor. Right. Straight Your up. targets are currently separate, Woof. each taking care of their task at hand. Mr. Rowe is currently serving taste to Gregory yeah. Carlyle, trying to entice him to become a VIP customer of his twist on Nordic cuisine, whilst Mr. Burke is putting the final touches on the late Zachary Carlyle. Okay, Salvatore Zachary Carlyle's the dead guy upstairs. 
Um, so that's just above, actually, where These men are truly where we would normally be. Excellent. Door closes right there. And that off. And that. And this. Alright, now we're looking good. That's our guy. That is Jack Rowe, a.k.a. Jakob Rowe, celebrity chef who has cashed in on the Nordic cuisine bandwagon Jack and has succeeded. His recipes might be Just bold, standing there. but he is a charlatan, if there ever was one. Okay. Four guys to the room in the left. Moving around. Just put that. Yeah, this is uh, uh, I'm gonna wait and see what this guy's routine is. But this is a nice isolated space where we could take this maid out. And if this guy ends up walking back and forth in here, then we've got a nice space. Um, although I don't know if he's going to keep taking food back and forth. That may be a finite uh, path and he'll end up not looping any further. Ah, this this was this was the moment right now. I could have could have knocked her out several times over. Ah, they're moving. He's now Walked around and he's picked up the plate. So he may now go back into the kitchen. And that will give us a moment alone again. Yes, there you are. Alright. We get this door closed. Alright, we're now roughly set up. And I could sort of the guy if he does come back through. To be real, real quick about it. Let's see what we got going on in here. He's not here. Okay, I can walk around in here. Oh no. Oh, this door's open. Where'd he go? He's gone up the stairs. Lead pipe. Cool. More throwables. That's him. So we could do this. Good here, yeah, we're good here. 
Life can be tough sometimes. Alexa, back from the dead. A mix good here too. I think we should be good on this ladder too. This was a shortcut that's opened up from previous missions. Oh shit. Enforcements. One inside is a bit of a risk. But this is the room where the dead body is. What's her routine? Oh, she does go back and forth, huh? Oh, no. Alright. I know another way up, but I also don't want to lose track. And I kind of want to take our chef friend out first if that is possible chef guy is not around again this guy's cleaning up there he is no that guy's hair looks like our target okay so he comes in here this other guy is not our chef no our chef is now here He's gone through the chef, through the staff room door. Is he gonna eat I that? I hate people who waste food. It's a sin. Keep it on the radar, people. Is he? Picking up a tray again. I could have taken him through the staff room if I had been actually following him directly. It's a shame. Where are you going, sir? How are you, sir? <sighs> Tired, mate. This is a long loop, if it even is one. Uh. Ready for this, people. Oh, shit. Are you good? Ah. Of, lots of stuff. Because you can like sabotage that, I think. Mm, that smells delicious. What is it? Can I taste? If you pay me 500 pounds as a guest, then yes. But you can't. So don't ask. <laughs> right. Sorry yeah. I asked. Oh dear. Oh, wouldn't it be 
It'd be good. Uh, that guy's. That guy too. He's picking up the plate. Into position. He's not picking up the plate. He's dressing. He's dressing the plate. Here he comes. There's another chop. An opportunity. Target down. Locked in it's now, people. One more to go. Unnoticed accident kill. So if his body does get found, I am I am actually safe. So I'm going to get upstairs. What is this packet of cigarettes about? A packet of cigarettes. Excellent. Okay, this gets me into the room next to the hidden panel. And who have we got? I need my cigarettes. And I'm drinking my... beer? Okay. Well, the beer's right there. Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay, he's standing right there. I'm allowed to stand in here, I believe. Come in. You heard something weird. I'm gonna go check it out. Okay. And again. to the slaughter. And we must wonder if I can poison that bottle what in time. How do I get out? <laughs> hadn't, uh, hadn't done that in a while. Oh shit, he's right there. Drink up, son. There you go. Target 
That's eliminated. Find an exit. Your money is being transferred Let's now. The hell out of this mansion. Searching. Oh, there's another window. Oh, that's what, the one I came in. All right. Should be on rails at this point. Uh, motorbike. No. Little bridge. All right, well, that took a cycle longer than I guess the ideal would be, but I think that's Silent Assassin. That's my first in a while. I guess it's easier to do that when I'm not under the encouragement, encourage, encourageableness of, uh, of Dan. Oh, thanks for the follow, DJ Redux Music. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was a Silent Assassin, and now that's five Silent Assassin. Does that give me... Does that give me anything? 15 minutes. 16 minutes. Do I get something for that? Kukri knife. Okay, that's for Dartmoor level 13. I get to stash something in the library. That's not super useful. Winter coat for, yeah, for five silent assassins on the elusive target uh, series. Nice. All right. Uh, that's all for, for this one. Just wanted to make sure that I didn't um, lose my opportunity to take down that elusive target, but uh, I will, I will uh, have a tricky time getting, uh, getting back on Twitch for some more Hitman um, this month. It will, we'll see how it pans out. But if I am, it will be on Fridays, uh, European time zone, kind of morning time. But uh, sometimes crop up for other stuff. Thank you for watching. Uh, until next time, see ya.